Morning team, welcome back. Uh, yeah, a bit of rain overnight, about four mil, something like that. And yeah, a bit, it's a bit of a gloomy, miserable sort of a day at the moment. <clears throat> anyway, we'll, uh, we'll work with it. We won't be able to do too much spraying for a little while yet. We'll just see what the, the sun is trying to have a crack, but we'll just, we'll just see what it does the time we get organised. Hopefully it might have lifted enough and we can get spraying uh yeah just here if you're watching on the last one i was just talking about dropping these um front tines on the on the air seater down so we can uh, just pull these pull these couple of bolts out here and and adjust the height of that front tine um i've done that one so you can see we've got got sort of three uh, or two and three quarters of holes so i've i've just dropped it down about about 25 mil not even about 20 mil uh so that'll just with the ground this paddock being a bit uneven it'll just mean the tines are in the ground a bit more i'm hoping that the tractor will still pull it um our old tractor was at a bit more horsepower so but i'm i'm hoping we will have the traction and and uh and the weight to to be able to pull it so we should be right um the ground there's plenty of moisture in that here but yeah, just with spraying last night, we just sort of missed the missed the um, the boat a little bit with getting getting the, the paddock prep right. Um, so yeah, no, we'll just muck around. I've done a couple few already, so we'll keep chipping away at it here, and uh, it won't take long. It took me half an hour. Um, Brendan's just feeding sheep. Tony's just loading the truck with seed now, and he'll he'll be over here shortly, and we'll get the get the cart loaded and uh, get the wheat calibrated up and. And uh, yeah, hopefully then we won't be far off striking a blow. Oh, we're gonna start here in the wheat. Uh, yeah, just trying to get it set up. We didn't have an AB line in the screen here from sowing last year. There's been a crossover with our screens um, between tractors and I think the I think this screen actually came out of the boom spray <coughs> tractor originally out of the Magnum and uh, we bought a third screen at an auction last year and it is now in the spray tractor. So there's been, there's been a bit of a mix up so I'm Sort of haven't got the sowing AB lines, uh, and uh, about this time last year, we actually sold our sowing tractor in anticipation of the new tractor coming. Um, which the middle of sowing was probably not the brightest thing to do, but anyway, that's the way it worked out. And we ended up putting the Magnum on the on the cedar, and we had the the little fence on the boom spray, which all works pretty well. Um, got us out of trouble, and we got the crop in. Uh, but yeah, so what's what's happened is I think there's been a crossover. So I don't actually have an inter-row, um, an AB line that I can just shift. I can go in here and just shift that line over 125 mil or um, whatever it is, five inches for the AB. To, so we're on the in between last year's sowing rows. If you watch the stubble video I did. So I've just sort of done it by eye, and it actually hasn't worked out too bad. We're we're pretty close, so I'm just I'm not gonna not gonna muck around with it too much. But what we're finding in um, we're dropping the the tubes down a bit, and um, just bear with me. Just a bit of a block here. Um, yeah, just we're dropping the the tubes down a bit, and it's quite heavy. It's quite sandy this paddock in in spots, um, so and, and we've got a bit of sort of few weed issues as I spoke spoke about earlier. Uh, the machine is dragging a bit, and it's pretty. It's, a, it's sort of the steepest pull up this hill that we've got on the farm. So um, so yeah, in, in turn the tractor's working pretty hard. We're back. We're sort of up around that high thirties, forty liters an hour, pulling it back up the hill. Um, look, which won't won't hurt the tractor at all. It'll just it'll probably do it a bit of good. Um, but rather than just running around, I've actually just playing with the engine management. Just to, I've lifted up the the minimum minimum rev rates and uh, 
and also what's going on here? Um, we've also got an issue with our ground speed, so I'll need to sort that out. Um, but yeah, I've lifted up the minimum rev range just to so the tractor's not sort of bogging down as much, um, and hopefully. Hopefully that'll help the job a bit, but it's yeah, it's all a bit of a learning curve. But yeah, don't know whether dropping those tines down was the brightest thing to do. So we might have, I'll just see how we're going. We might even might even lift them back up again for the half an hour. But it, it is working all right. But we're battling for traction a little bit, just not having any rear wheel weight, rear wheel weights, and and this bar doesn't actually put any weight on the draw bar of the tractor. So um, anyway, we'll keep persisting and and uh, yeah. The wheels are turning, but uh, yeah, we've just got just to fine-tune it a little bit, that's all. So I've got Tony to come out and hop on the air suitor for me so I can finish off spraying this paddock. Just going to have a bit of a squeeze here at what the seed is up to with our depth. Uh, yeah, all the rows look good, everything looks pretty level. I'm still getting a bit on top of the ground for whatever reason, I don't know why. Anyway, you can see, see here, we've actually upped the rate here a bit um, than what we use, a bit heavier than what we usually sow it, just this sand can be a bit unforgiving at times, so um, yeah, we sort of usually sow it around that 80 kilos, we're up to sort of 90, uh, yeah, just, just to get a few more plants there and hopefully, you know, plenty of plant numbers, so, um, but no, it all looks, all looks pretty good. I think I'll just leave the leave the time depth alone. Um, yeah, when we're on the sand, it's all right. It's a bit that heavy grey country is pretty tight on a good day, so I think we'll just leave it as it is and uh, just battle away down there. Um, there's no sort of super panic. We're not um, we're not in a rush to get anywhere. If it takes us, you know, an extra half a day to put this stuff in, it won't be. It's not the end of the world, so. Anyway, well, uh, yeah, it's, the weather's not a great day. It's not a great day for it, but, uh, yeah, anyway, we'll get this chemical out and, and uh, get it done. And I'd like to get the other knockdown on the other paddock done if we can so we don't get sort of held up tomorrow. Um, you sort of ideally want to leave sort of 12 to 24 hours between the your, your knockdown and then coming back with the gramoxone if we can. So, anyway, we'll get rolling.
still rolling along. We're a bit after eight o'clock. Uh, yeah, having a bit of a battle in here that <coughs> is dragging a bit. We're sort of having to do a couple of turns around each <coughs> each run. I'm starting to lose my voice. Sorry, the sort of cold, cold or flu I've had is moving up into my throat, so I'm coughing like a bastard. And uh, yeah, the voice is starting to go a little bit, but. You can't probably see it in the camera, the fog is starting to move in a bit, but we'll just say it might not do a hell of a lot more. We didn't get a lot of the next paddock sprayed uh, this morning or today, just with the, with the way the weather was and uh, the guys were threatening had to deliver a bit of straw and loosen hay, <coughs> excuse me. And yeah, so we're just a bit of a crossover there where I was sort of did a bit of spraying and then pulled up and did a bit of sewing and so but anyway it's not the end of the world uh yeah so but this job sort of it's it's still it's still going all right but it's yeah he's dragging a little bit i'm just tossing up what to do with the next paddock i'm just yeah sort of only get one crack at sewing i don't want to uh, we don't really want to make a mess we have made a bit of a mess here in spots uh, so we're gonna have to level out a few lumps and bumps but um, yeah, look, generally it's rocking along all right, but whether we multi-disc the next paddock, just take a day and a bit, and we could actually go home and sew some loosen and, and that while we were while we're doing it. Um, it'll take a couple of days to multi-disc it just with our little machine. So um, anyway, we'll make a bit of a plan of attack in the morning. Need to slip into town and get a bit more fertilizer, as I mentioned. Um, so I've spoken to the guys in town, they sort of can go in and get that at any time. Um, yeah, so anyway, we'll just uh, yeah, we'll keep chipping away. And, but yeah, as, as the dew comes in, it's um, yeah, we sort of seems to, it seems to be not travelling through the machine as well as well as what it probably should. So anyway, it is what it is. Fog's well and truly moved in. And, uh, yeah, it's not uh, not running through the machine real well, and my patience is starting to run out. So we might um, finish this run and. A knock off, I think, before I really um, throw the toys out of the cot. But just with a bit of extra moisture, it doesn't want to run through, and um, yeah, for whatever reason, it just wants to hang on the tines badly. Uh, so, yeah, we might, uh, might quit while we're ahead. We've sort of nearly got 40 hectares out, there's only uh, not quite 60 in the paddock, so we'll get it tomorrow, no worries. It'll be, um, yeah the three hours or so in the morning to, to finish it off but um, yeah do it in the daylight when we can see what's going on so, uh, yeah but you can I don't know whether you can just see it there it's wants to keep just keep blocking it and hanging on the tines uh, it's a bit of stuff down the bottom here that we didn't actually harvest it's the green spots canola here which we, we actually um, it got drowned out and we mulch, ran the multi-disc across it and we probably should have chopped it up again just to, there's still a few long stalks and that, that are bit, giving us a bit of grief. Uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll reconvene tomorrow and have another crack at it, I think. Morning, this is take two of this. Uh, I tried to do it yesterday morning but the battery of the GoPro was flat so I'm still uh, yeah, still trying to get that one right anyway with everything else going on at the moment it's yeah um, keeping the bash in the GoPro pro charged is probably not high on the priority list but anyway we'll keep working with it uh, it's actually drizzling rain this morning um, sort of weather's coming up from the south it's quite winter's sort of nearly upon us it's sort of pretty cold and miserable um, this morning uh, we got the first Paddock of wheat sown, finished yesterday afternoon-ish. Uh, went to, had to go to town and get some more fertiliser, which I spoke about. Uh, and yeah, just continued to do a bit of contract spraying yesterday afternoon, um, just to get it on top of it. <coughs> um, so yeah, I was gonna change the oil on this tractor last night when I got home, or dropped it, drop it out last night when I got home, cause it's due for an oil change, but I sort of thought, oh, we'll go and do this. We've only got sort of 50 odd hectares out the back left to spray, which I was intending to do today, but we'll just see how the weather plays out. But uh, yeah, so I didn't bother doing it. I thought, oh, I'll go out and do that and bring it back and do it 
um, rather than mucking around at six o'clock at night. And anyway, I probably could have done it because we would have had time this morning. But I have mentioned earlier on in some of the earlier videos the viscous fan in the fan hub and this tractor's um, buggered. I've got a new one there which I've had for probably 12 months, but um, I wasn't too concerned because the fan was running. It just if it had been the other way where it wasn't kicking in um, and keeping the the job cool, well, I would have got to and done it, but given we've got a bit of a break this morning where we can't do much, uh, yeah, we might, um, we might get to and swap it out. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, as I said, 50 hectares left of wheat to sow out the back there and then all the crops in out there, and then we've just got um, little 16 hectares here at home, and then um, there's 40 hectares here of loosen that the guys have been doing. Oh, morning, little dog. Uh, that we've been working up and getting knocked into shape and then as far as the contracting there's about 350 hectares to do uh, so we're just trying to toss up which way we head whether we go back into the edge of Baruga where we were with the canola and just finish off up in in there and that job's done out of the road um, which I'm thinking might be the, the plan and then we can come back down and, and just uh, finish off spend four or five or six days down here at at the sort of big corporate dairy farm that we do um and yeah because they're they're sort of not too fast down there um so anyway i'll make a couple of calls this morning and uh but yeah it might be a bit of a shed day today which will be probably won't hurt anyone any of us i'm still battling with this gold probably it's probably knocking me around more now than what it was at the start so um yeah anyway i feel like i've been hit by a bus again uh anyway the joys dog's life Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get this pulled to bits and see how, we, how it comes up. So that's the new fan hub. I don't see how it works, but yeah, anyway. It's about two and a half grand there, and that don't get much for your money. Uh, yeah, anyway, we've got the broom handle to prop the bonnet up because the gas struts are a bit buggered. So anyway. You can see in there the fan bolts to it. We'll uh, yeah, get to and start and pulling the bits. <laughs> End of the day, uh, yeah, pretty pretty uneventful once we, we got the tractor back together. We just did a few jobs on the boom spray. Tony gave it a grease. Uh, we've been having, I think I've spoken about it. I'll get around so you can see me. Um, we've been having trouble with the clutch on the air conditioner, on the compressor, on the tractor. Uh, for whatever reason, there's a, a pressure switch or something in the cabin that's not activating and once, just if the cabin's cold like this time of day if you now it's cooled outside if you got in the cabin you know the air conditioner would work but for whatever reason once it, the job gets um cabin gets a bit warm 
it won't pull the air conditioner clutch into gear. So what we've been doing is actually just shorting the clutch, um, which is not ideal. Um, but you run it for a couple of minutes, plug it back in, away it goes, and it works fine. So what we've actually done is we've just run a jump wire. Um, we've spliced it into the to the power the the power that activates the clutch on the compressor. So we've just spliced a wire in with power to with a switch in the cab. So we now don't have to get out and with a short bit of wire and, and jump that so that's um yeah one one good thing so but no i've got all the fan hub back on it seems to be working really well working all right uh pretty windy crappy miserable sort of a day the wind's died off now but wasn't wasn't a spraying day at all so we didn't get the air letter going which is fine there's a few more skiffy showers the sarvo but yeah we just few clean up jobs around the workshop and around the farm brendan packed a few electric fences up and that sort of stuff so yeah as i said pretty pretty uneventful sort of a day so we'll uh yeah we'll get back into it tomorrow get the the pre-emergent chemicals out on this um last or well, second last paddock of wheat and uh yeah get it get it done so uh yeah but it's going to be I'm supposed to talk in sort of um low back to twos and threes and fours minimum temperatures over the weekend in the morning so winter is upon us so uh, anyway thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed it uh yeah keep playing along and uh, we'll see you on the next one Ta -da.